What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John and Liquidator, coming back with breaking news. So it looked like the WNBA Players Association has opted out of the current collective bargaining agreement. What does this mean? We finna dive into this story. For this one here, we gotta go all the way up to New York. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Like many have predicted, the WNBA could be headed towards a mega strike. Yes, though. So it looked like the women has decided to opt out of the bargaining agreement. Now, we knew that this could possibly be the case because they had until November the 1st to opt in or opt out. Now, Brianna Stewart was vocal in a press conference and stated that after these finals was done, she was going to let everybody know what the players was going to do. Now, she is the spokeswoman for the Players Association. Now, we already know, congratulations to her, her and the New York Liberty pulled off and won the WNBA final championship late last night. But I'm here to tell you, early this morning, as reported by a Bleacher Report, they dropped a video with Brianna Stewart letting the world know this message. I'm telling you right now, it's about to get real. Roll the footage. Yes, I want to opt out. The WNBA, you know, if you want us to be here, you have to pay us more. It's business. Everyone, buckle up. It's about to be a fun day. This is our opportunity to get it right. That is the video there that is currently making shockwaves across the country. That was Rihanna Stewart. Let it be known. They will be opting out of the current collective bargaining agreement. Now, a post was released by ESPNW stating this right here, let's pull it up right now. It states the WNBA, the WNBPA announced Monday that players are seeking a business model that reflects their true values. So that is something that the players is looking at doing, getting something that affects their true values. WNBA player opt out of CBA face potential work stoppage. Told y'all, strike could be coming. Now, now the article was released, but but before we get into the article real quick, let me show you guys what Shanae had to say on ESPN moments ago. And this, my friends, sent shockwaves across this league. Roll the footage. We want to stick in the W, though, Shanae, because we do have some breaking news about the future of the league and its players now that the season has concluded. What can you tell us? Breaking news, the WMBPA Executive Committee and Board of Player Reps have voted that they are opting out mm. of the 2020 Collective Bargaining Agreement. So this means that the players and the league are now on the clock to negotiate a new CBA by the end of the 2025 season. And y'all, the timing of this decision is truly huge. Coming off of a historic WNBA season, that includes record viewership increases in attendance by 48%, increases in merchandise sales by 600% compared to last year. So this is a huge decision that was just with, was made. And now we wait and see how the league and the players are going to work together for the future of the WNBA. So what are the players going to be asking for here, Chanae? What could we be looking at? Yeah, the key issues are establishing a new economic model that is truly more creative and ensures player wages better reflect the growing business. They also hope to build upon professional standards that are set by teams like New York, Seattle, Las Vegas, Phoenix, all whom have state-of-the-art practice facilities. And of course, they hope to expand lifelong benefits for players, including retirement and family planning. So see, you can see right here, these are some of the points of emphasis that the league and the players are going to have to address. So if those are the point of emphasis, I'm wondering, Shanae, how far are the players looking to take this? Is there any possibility that we could see a possible work stoppage here? To me, what I have been heard, what I've heard, and what I've uh, learned from the union is the fact that they are preparing to take as long as necessary to be able to have the best negotiation as possible. They have been leaning on their leading experts of their collective bargaining bargaining agreement and their advisory council to sort of make these determinations. 
But overall, we have seen over the course of this WNBA season that the players, they have handled their business on the court, and now they look to handle their business literally off the court in this monumental time for the league. So news here on NBA Today. The Players Association is opting out of the 2020 collective bargaining agreement. Y'all... That was Shanae on ESPN breaking this story moments ago. Now, ESPNW did release an article as well. Now, the article goes on to say WNBA players have opted out of the current collective bargaining agreement and face the prospect of a work stoppage if they don't negotiate a new deal with the league by the end of 2025. So, the 2025 season will not be affected by this. All of the ladies, I'm pretty sure, is going to sign like a one-year deal with whatever team they got. So I'm pretty sure like Kelsey Mitchell's situation, she's more than likely is going to sign a one-year agreement with the Indiana Fever moving forward because of this bargaining agreement. And I think there's other big-name players. The contract is currently up, but I'm pretty sure they will be signing one-year agreements because of this bargaining agreement. The the elected members of the Women's National Basketball Players Association, WNBPA, announced Monday that the players are seeking a business model that reflects their true value encompassing higher salaries. So that right there tell me this is about money. The players want more money. They want bigger salaries. They want to be paid accordingly. But we all got to realize this. There's not enough data saying that, you know what, what happened this season is going to happen next year and a year after that and a year after that. We don't have enough data, I feel like, to prove that this league is going to keep these high viewership numbers for the foreseeable future. Now, one could guess that because of the explosion that occurred, but we don't know if this is how it's going to be moving forward based off this season alone. Enhanced professional working conditions, expand health benefits, and crucial investments needed for long-term growth. Players had until November the 1st, just like I stated, to opt in or opt out. So it looked like they decided to opt out today, which was set to expire in 2027. Citing higher television ratings, attendance, and um the new TV rights deal with Disney and Amazon Prime, NBC, worth over $200 million a year. This is a defining moment, not just for the WNBA, but for all of us who believe in the progress of the WNPA president, Nakika Oma Om Mike of the Seattle Storm, said in a statement, the world has evolved since 2020, and we cannot afford to stand still if we stay in the current agreement we fall behind opting out isn't just about bigger paychecks it's about claiming our rights share of the business we built improving working conditions and securing a future where the success we create benefits today's players and the generations to come we're not just asking for cba that reflects our value we're demanding it because we earned it. That was the statement from the president. Now the article goes on to say the WNBA moved to all charter flights. We all know that happened uh, earlier this year. A lot of people can thank Caitlin Clark for that. The players made the decision to opt out of the CBA to realign the business and save the league from its own limitations. WBPA executive director, Terry Puncher Michael Jackson said today with a stronger foundation and now investments following in, they're opting out again, this time to fully professionalize the league, secure proper wages and improve working conditions and lock in meaningful benefits. One thing that stand out to me is will they request a new commissioner? Is that part of the bargaining agreement, getting a new commissioner? Could that be something that is on the table 
for the ladies because we already know Kathy ain't doing right, y'all. Y'all got to get a new commission. Make that part of the agreement as well. But it's going to be an interesting offseason, um, especially dealing with these contracts. Now, I'm pretty sure the 2025 season is going to come together like normal. I don't think like we're going to see any stoppage in the season or anything like that. Now, going into that 2026 season, then we might. But as of right now, I don't think the 2025 season is going to be affected by this. Um, like I stated, I believe a lot of players is going to sign one-year contracts uh, because they have until the end of 2025 under the current agreement. And uh, it's just going to be interesting moving forward. Definitely get down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this. Keep them bells on because, you know, I'm going to bring you the news. And like always, man, until next time, shake the haters off. I'm out of here. Peace out. Shake the